Hello, my name is Ashley Munoz, and today I'll be discussing uh, the topic that I that I chose, which was language shaming. Uh, I created a hypothesis, which was language shaming happens more to lower educated women in the valley than uh, educated women. I chose this topic because to me, it, I found it interesting how language shaming was something that had been going on. Well, that has been going on, but we don't quite pick up on it or didn't know that it had a name. Which, to simplify in other terms, it's practically when we make fun of or sh- or shame upon or look down upon on someone in their pronunciation or the way they say something in a language. And here in the Valley, most of us are primary languages, English, Spanish being our secondary. So sometimes it comes out, uh, our pronunciation in Spanish is not as good as in English. Uh, and in my hypothesis, I was able to find that it was the contrary. Um, with information I gathered, it was that um, educated women in the valley are experiencing language shaming more rather than uh, lower educated women. Um, I chose the methodology of a survey uh, rather than a questionnaire because it was uh, because of the time being. They take the link and they could just take it and I was able to get the feedback uh, instantly as they took it. I was receiving it on my computer, and I was able to have a chart that uh, that showed percentages and showed the difference between all all the qu- all the questions and the responses. Um, I felt that the the possible consequences for the evidence that I found is that I would have thought that lower educated women would encounter language shaming, being that people are not aware of of certain pronunciations, but I guess now that I think about it, being educated, it makes you aware or having higher education makes you aware of of being more aware of uh, certain errors we make when communicating in between languages and how women are put more on the spotlight in when facing a uh, language shaming rather than men because women, I guess, are, are set, not, I feel not even just in our culture as a Hispanic but as uh, as wi- uh, women in general are set to a higher standard than women, I mean, sorry, th- rather than men, and th- they face being put in the spotlight more for language shaming than men, which I feel could be a problem, being that, that that's always the case. I don't feel that it's just the case in language shaming, but I feel in general women are always put to have a higher standard than men, and it's expect and more is expected from us rather than men.